Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a deck profile here for Phoenix Mon, but also Valkyrie Mon. This is a very interesting deck because I thought I'd actually mix in uh, two particular Digimon together and this kind of makes it a nice mixture. Of course, there are some things that might not be as uh, synergetic, but uh, being that it is still a pure red deck, I believe it actually works out. And you know, when you're actually putting it into action, it's not too bad. It still actually does the job there. Uh, though I wouldn't say it does as well as it would um, in a theoretical sense, but uh, I'm just gonna explain it as I go along. So without further ado, let's just get started. So to start off with our Digi Eggs, I'm playing the four copies here of Poromon. This is just a really nice one. Basically the inherited skill. When you're attacking, you get to delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a thousand DP or less. So generally speaking, you're trying to just uh, get this out as soon as possible. And you're essentially just trying to get rid of your opponent's level three before they can actually do anything, which is definitely really good. It's really speedy because these days, most people are just playing a lot of uh, Digimon that actually have abilities that have skills and for that uh, for that particular aspect a lot of the Digimon are really going to be weak with 1000 DP or less uh, unless they're playing vanillas which is pretty much just uh, completely gone at this point uh, so it just works out well anyway and then we're just playing the Coromon uh, it's just basically if you have four Digivolution cards, you get an additional thousand, which is just uh, always nice anyway. But this is essentially the lineup I'm playing. Uh, I just think it works out really well for the deck. So moving on to the level threes, we're gonna be playing here four copies of our Hawkmon. So Hawkmon is one of the ones that we're going with here. And the reason why I wanted to go with the Hawkmon is it's a vanilla and vanillas aren't as common now, but at least for level threes, I wanna bring out the strongest Digimon possible to try and deal with the opponent's level threes before they can even get into their level fours or higher. So it's just a bit of a small strategy of mine that kind of rushes really early on in the game and kind of makes it really rewarding in the end because you're kind of slowing down your opponents quite a lot here. But I'm also playing over here our Beomon. So Beomon is basically on deletion. If it's your turn, you get to gain one memory. Like I said, it focuses on the whole rush aspect. So you see Beomon and you see Poromon. When you just declare an attack, you get to delete one of your opponent's Digimon already. So if, you're a dig if your opponent has a 1000 DP level three out there, uh, you can just swing with Beomon, which is most likely gonna be on top of Poromon. Uh, into their security. With Paramon's uh, inherited skill, you could essentially just get rid of your uh, opponent's 1000 DP or less uh, Digimon, but then you would also attack into the security, and if the security deletes your Beomon, then you get to gain a memory in addition to that. So it's just really nice uh, to kind of like kill two birds with one stone, which is uh, kind of interesting given that our bird, uh, our deck here is pretty much all birds. But finally, we are playing here the three copies of Beomon, uh, the other variant, of course. This one here is the vanilla version. Uh, like I said, it's all focused on Rush. We just want to get our Digimon out as soon as possible. This has a play cost of two, so it is definitely well worth it to just bring out as many as you possibly can. All right, so on to level fours, we're going to be playing four copies here of Aquilamon. So when attacking, you get to delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 2000 DP or less. Again, most of the time, you're really just gonna be able to delete their level threes, uh, and there's maybe a few level fours that you might be able to get rid of as well. Uh, but with that being said, again, it's the rush. It's trying to just uh, get rid of your opponent's Digimon all the while you're able to just uh, get through to their security, which is very nice. Um, but we're also playing over here our four copies of Bergeramon. So this particular Bergeramon is uh, essentially, uh, when attacking, uh, you're able to just get 4,000 DP, which is definitely very nice, allowing you to get over uh, quite a few things. And of course, we end things off here with the four copies of the vanilla Bergeramon. Again, just a really cheap cost to go into, 5,000 DP, just solid attack, and uh, just does the job. Again, still focusing on the whole rush aspect here. 
Moving on to level 5, so we're playing two copies here of Selfimon. Uh, honestly, I did wish I had more of these, but uh, still, it's not too bad of a card to actually have at two copies. Either way, when Digivolving, you can change one of your original DP of one of your opponent's level 4 or lower Digimon to 1000. This is kind of the synergetic aspect to this particular deck, kind of uh, synergetically playing off with uh, Poromon and even the Bergamons. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely fantastic there. And uh, this is just traded as yellow, though it's kind of irrelevant there. It's The point is uh, pretty much just weakening your opponent's Digimon. Uh, but next up, we're also playing here four copies of uh, Garudamon. Uh, when you're attacking, you simply get to draw a card. Uh, sometimes you're just going to run out of resources. Keep in mind, this deck is all focused on rushing, so you are going to be digivolving and drawing cards off that, but sometimes you just need that additional draw power, and uh, the fact that you can pair it up with the Grudamon is definitely well worth it. We're also going to end things off here with our other Grudamon. This one is when digivolving, one of your Digimon gets uh, 3000 DP for the turn, which is uh, definitely a really nice boost to get over more of your opponent's Digimon out there. So now on to level 6s, we are playing a very high count of level 6s, but it's well worth it. We're playing 4 copies here of Valkyriemon. So this one is when Digivolving, you could delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 4000 or less DP. Definitely really nice. But when attacking, you could also delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 4,000 or less DP. So there is uh, two additional effects here. I think the only downside is really it is a 9,000 DP level 6. So it's very weak, but it is really cheap to actually bring out being a 3 Digivolution cost. But uh, either way, the fact that you get to just remove more of your opponent's uh, Digimon is definitely well worth it in this particular circumstance. Plus, with the whole rush aspect going on, uh, with the previous poke, uh, Digimon that you've been going on before that, uh, you're pretty much just uh, going to whittle away at your opponent's security uh, a lot sooner than you might expect. But next up, we're playing three copies here of Phoenixmon. When attacking, you get to gain a memory. Very nice here. Uh, it's just very well worth it. And we're playing two copies of the other Phoenix Mon, which is simply a vanilla. It is a 12k beat stick that we sometimes do need. Kind of like to supplement our weakness with the whole Valkyrie Mon, but uh, yeah, this is pretty much the third lineup that we're pretty much going with in this particular case. As for Tamers, we are going to be playing here uh, four Tai Kamiya and one Marcus Damon. Uh, it's just all really nice here. Again, Tai Kamiya, they stack up. So if you get all four of them out on the board as soon as possible, you're boosting up all your Digimon. So with the Valkyriemon being a 9000 DP level 6, by having all four of these out, you're boosting it up to 13,000 DP, which is uh, much needed in this particular case. Plus, if you just have this in the security and it gets hit, it comes out on the field anyway, uh, giving you the boost. So this is really amazing. But uh, Marcus Damon kind of allows you to uh, just essentially give you extra energy, uh, memory when you actually need it in this particular case because again this deck is a bit of a rush deck. To conclude with the option cards, we're only playing two copies of the Rowdy Rocker. That's all the option cards we really need here. Uh, essentially just allowing you to get through your deck as much as possible. Uh, we just want to get through uh, whatever we can so that we can digivolve as quick as possible and uh, hit at our opponent's security. So the whole idea behind this deck, I mean, it is a red deck. It's going to be a rush deck, but you guys didn't expect that it would be that fast, right? Well, this deck is designed to be incredible incredibly fast and surprisingly it does work out really well uh, for this particular build here. So yeah, I do hope you guys actually have fun with this particular build and definitely leave me your thoughts as to what you thought about its gameplay. But uh, with that being said, thanks for joining me today. I hope to see you again next time and I hope you all have a great day.